All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms <laughs> and data structures, basic JavaScript, counting cards. All right. So in the uh, casino game Blackjack, a player can determine whether they have an advantage on the next hand over the house by keeping track of the relative number of high and low cards remaining in the deck. This is called card counting. Having more high cards remaining in the deck favors the player. Each card is assigned a value according to the table below. And uh, when the count is positive, the player should be Pardon me, the player should bet high. When the count is zero or negative, the player should bet low. Just personal opinion, I think the gambling is stupid and we should all just avoid it, but it's your business, bro. Uh, so now we've got uh, count change. We're gonna do, if the cards are two, three, four, five, or six, we're gonna add one because it's taking these cards out of the deck. So that means there's gonna be more high cards. If it's, uh, Seven, eight, or nine, we're just going to leave it zero because these don't matter, I guess. And then uh, we're going to have negative one for 10, jack, queen, king, and ace because these are the high cards. And when they're out of the deck, there's less of a chance of getting a good hand. All right. So we will write a card counting function and it will receive a card parameter, which can be a number or a string and increment or decrement the count pardon me, the global count variable according to the card's value. And we'll see the table about that. Uh, the function will then return a string with the current count and the string bet if the count is positive or hold if the count is zero or negative. The current count and the player's decision better hold should be separated by a single space. So here's some example outputs. We've got negative three is gonna be a hold or five is gonna be a bet. So here's some hints. We're not going to reset count to, to zero when value is seven, eight, or nine. Uh, we're not going to return an array, and we're not going to include quotes uh, in the output. Mm, okay. Uh, anyway, so here we go. So first things first, we're going to have to deal. We're going to have to do some ifs. So in my opinion, if uh, if the card is less than seven, we're going to we're going to add one to this count right here. So let's do that. Let's say if, and then we're gonna say a card is less than seven. And I like to do less than seven instead of like uh, less than or equal to six, just cause it saves a little bit of keystroke, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have the curly braces right here and we're just gonna say count plus plus, incrementing it by one, all right? And so now we've got, let's think about this right here since it's zero we don't even have to worry about these so let's not even bother with that we're instead of that we're going to come down here and say else if and then we'll say um, or maybe we'll do an else how about that no 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 else if and what we'll do here is say if uh, card and we could say equals ten but I'm going to say to save uh, some. Keystrokes will save card is greater than nine, all right? And then we can, we're also gonna say or card equals equals, and then we'll say J like that. So what I'm gonna do here, or what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna take it from this nine all the way to this J, to that second apostrophe on the J. Uh, we're gonna copy that, or the second single quote, whatever. And then we're going to do it uh, one, two, three more times. One, two, three. All right, so let's change this one to a capital Q. We'll change this one to a capital K. Oops, I got my microphone in the way, sorry. Capital K, and then this one to a capital A. All right, and so now we should have that taken care of. Uh, what we're gonna do here is now have this curly, these curly braces, and we're gonna say in here, uh, count minus minus, because we're decrementing it. So, Basically, as you can see, if cards 10, jack, queen, king, or ace, we're gonna do count minus, minus. All right, so now that we've got this first part done, let's start on the second part. So we're gonna say if, uh, da -da 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 -da, if count is less than zero, mm, is greater than, let's say if count is greater than zero, actually, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're going to return um, let's say, no, no, first let's, let's say count like that plus, and then we're going to have inside of these quotes space bet. 
All right. So it's going to say whatever the count is right now. In the, if it's any of these, it's going to be plus. Any of these, it's going to be uh, minus. And then if it's not that, we'll just come down here and say, well, actually, we're going to use this return right here. We'll return uh, count plus, and then we'll have space capital H for hold and then OLD. And I usually, I almost always forget these uh, semicolons because we in JavaScript, you really don't need them. But when we get to Python, we really will need them. So it's a good idea to get in the practice. Uh, so now that we've done that, now we're gonna now we're gonna test it. Let's uh, get rid of all these because we don't need all that. Let's wrap this CC right here in parentheses. Let's say home, and then let's say console.log, right? So two is gonna say one bet because if it's less than seven, it's gonna do plus plus. Now let's do a K, all right? Negative one hold looks good. Let's do a seven. Zero hold. All right, looks good. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to build JavaScript objects and we'll see you next time.